welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many Julia developers. Our viewer is trying to pass multiple arguments to the built-in piping operator, which is represented by the symbol. Let's take a closer look at the question. Okay, we're back with another tech video. Now I'm gonna go through your question, answer it, and hopefully you get the solution. Now remember to say just a little bit crazy like me and you'll get there to that resolution. All right, let's continue on to the video. In Julia, the piping operator allows you to pass the output of one function as the input to another. However, when you wanna pass multiple arguments, it can be tricky. In your example, you want to use the join function with a delimiter. The issue arises because the piping operator only passes one argument by default. You're correct that the join function has multiple methods due to Julia's multiple dispatch. The method you want requires both the array and the delimiter as separate arguments. To work around this, you can use an anonymous function to pass both the array and the delimiter to join. Here's how you can do it. This way, you can effectively use the piping operator while passing multiple arguments. You can also chain further operations as needed. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To handle multiple arguments in Julia's piping operator, we can use metaprogramming with a simple macro. First, we import the pipe and random packages. Then, we can pipe a list of random strings into the join function using an underscore to indicate where to pipe the input. If a function only takes one input, you can skip the underscore. For example, piping the number 2 into a series of operations will yield a result of 20. For more details on the pipe package, you can check the documentation linked in the description. And that's it, guys. I hope you found the answer that you're looking for and got to that resolution in the end. If you did, please take a moment, hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. Until the next time you need more technical videos, I hope you have a great day. Cheers.